and welcome back to the happy heart I'm so glad that you guys came over today for another brand new video I am really excited about this video because I'm always curious about what people buy so I think that's why I enjoy grocery hauls and different things like that but this particular video is five things that I religiously buy at the Dollar Tree So if you have a Dollar Tree in your area, you know that sometimes you have to watch what you buy there because you can actually be overpaying. And so these are five things that I buy all the time that I know are a really good deal. So I just want to pass on what I buy to you guys. So the first thing I always buy at the Dollar Tree is these multi-surface cleaning wipes. You supposedly can clean granite, you can clean glass, you can dust. I mainly use these to dust. They come in a package of 30 and they are perfect for dusting your living room, cleaning the counter off. I've used them on my granite. It doesn't seem to hurt it, but I don't know necessarily if it's making it like perfect and shiny, but as a wipe, wiping it off, it doesn't hurt it at all. Um, I have used it on glass and I'm not overly impressed with it, but in a pinch it will do. But these are the best for dusting. Other thing I buy at the dollar store all the time is tissue paper. Specifically like for gift wrap tissue paper. And um, I always get this 35 count for a dollar. You can't get anywhere near that at Walmart, and this is just, um, or any other Dollar Generals, anything else, you can't get anywhere near 35 sheets. This is just white though, so if you wanted um, something with um, color or something like that, it comes in a lower quantity, but it's still a really good deal there. Um, this is always good to have on hand, and I always buy my, um, gift bags there as well. So I never um, get them and pay $253 when I can go to the Dollar Tree and pay a dollar. And they have really cute bags. They're always good. A lot of times you know, I'm sure, that you reuse and re-gift um, gift bags. So I usually have a lot of those. It's mostly the tissue paper that I run out of all the time. So I kind of try to keep a stash and with 35 sheets, this lasts a, a little bit and um, it's a really good cost effective price. The other thing I've been buying lately is these Twist Glade air fresheners. So what you do is you take off the plastic part here, you twist it and um, what happens is there's a gel inside. It's kind of like a solid gel and as it's exposed to the air um, It shrinks and shrinks and shrinks till you can't smell it anymore These are really really strong and I remember when I was a kid my mom used to buy them and put them in our windowsills like underneath um, The blinds so like nobody could see them, but then the room smelled good I use these a lot in these funny kind of places. I use them um, in my garage. When I first moved in, it had an odor to it because the previous owners had a cat. And so I wanted to, um, you know, use an air freshener to try to um, eliminate that odor and it worked perfect. So I've used it there. I've used it, um, like I said, in my window sills, and I'll just put the blinds over it so you can't tell. Um, I'll put these kind of in the corner of the bathroom, kind of behind the toilet, and for a dollar they last for a pretty long time. Um, they have a variety of scents, and it's a really good, easy way to always know that that particular room is fresh without having to constantly be spraying, constantly be changing out your wax warmer um, or your air wick or whatever um, whatever air freshener you use, these um, are kind of an open and go. And then when you don't smell it anymore, I just buy a new one. The other product that I have been loving that I just tried is this window cleaner. So it's by Awesome and it's a vinegar-based 
window formula. So, and it says that you can use it in kitchens, it says you can use it in like households, um, doorknobs, stovetops, countertops, things like that. I mainly just use this as a glass cleaner, but since it has a vinegar base, it's a glass and surface cleaner. Um, I think this is perfect though on glass. And it says streak free shine, and they are not lying. It does not leave streaks. I am super particular about glass, and I was having my husband clean all the glass in the house because I was terrible at it. Like, really bad. Just terrible. And, um,. So I'd have to wait until he was home and he was available and I finally found, um, I was watching Tell Vacuum do his part and this is one of the products she uses so I decided to try it and it is great. Um, I haven't used it for the multi-surface cleaner effect but I think it's really great that I have that option with it and I love the fact that it's a vinegar based cleaner so um, it's not a crazy harsh chemical that I'm inhaling and it has overall changed my glass cleaning experience tenfold. The other crazy funny thing that I always buy at the Dollar Tree is I buy all of my emergency candles and what I mean is I live in the south and there's a hurricane season. And I don't know what it is about my town, but it is very sensitive to power outages, let me tell you. Um, if there's high wind, we will have power outages. I mean, they're just very sensitive. In the South, you know that there's gonna be a hurricane that's gonna come through, that you're probably gonna lose some power for a little bit of time, and you wanna have those extra supplies on hand. Now, I have flashlights and things like that too. I have lived in the South for about six years and I have found that it's best to have tapered candles. So I found this pack of emergency candles and there's six candles that each burn for five hours. They're just white candles, they're nothing special. But I have found that tapered candles give you off more light than jarred candles. So when you are out of power, no joke, if you can find a tapered candle and burn it, it's gonna give a lot more light in your room. So you're able to sit around and talk or do whatever you wanna do and have more light while you do it. I have also found that they sell these really pretty candlesticks and they're only a dollar so I think that's a really good price but um, the emergency candles fit in here well and I have a couple of these and actually I came home a month or two ago and we didn't have any power. I came home from church and it was in the evening about seven, eight o'clock and there was no power and something had happened down the street that had to cause a break in our power lines and you know it was unexpected but I knew right where my candles were and it was great because I just grabbed these and uh, my, the other thing I do is I always buy they have packs of lighters at the Dollar Tree too they'll come like five in a pack and I will buy a pack and I will put the candles and everything all in one basket in the same place and so when the power does go out I know where my candles are I know where the flashlights are I know where the lights and the lighters are so I can get to everything easily so I do buy those packs of lighters to go along with it so those are the five things that I always buy at the dollar store that I always have on hand or have a stash of. I hope um, this gave you guys some ideas so you're not overpaying at any of the big box stores that you can that you know you can just go to the Dollar Tree and get that a little bit cheaper because let's face it, every penny counts, right? Thank you guys so much for coming over and hanging out with me and I will see y'all in my next brand new video. If you guys aren't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I upload videos about three times a week and I create and upload content as fast as I can make it.